Many people consider the number 13 to be unlucky, but in a time of an emergency, this could be the number that saves your life. So back in the 60s and 70s, it was not uncommon for fire departments as they were building fire stations to skip 13, presumably for superstitious purposes. Uh, but, but it has become the trend of late as, as those cities go back and build infill stations, which is what this is, uh, they're, they're, they're using the number 13. The Winston-Salem Fire Department, city and state officials gave us the dirt for what's to come for Winston-Salem's 20th fire station. This is a service level improvement. There is a gap in the coverage area here where we like to have uh, a, a four minute travel time from our facility. So when a fire truck leaves a fire station, we like for them to be where they're going in four minutes. And there is an area here that's sizable on a map, but we, we cannot reach it in four minutes traveling. The station is designed to better serve the community and the health of our firefighters. We know that firefighters uh, experience cancer at a rate that is measurably higher than the general population. And it's because of the stuff that absorbs into their skin uh, products of combustion that are carcinogenic. So uh, this facility will have sort of a dirty side. I think of it as a dirty side and a clean side. I, I think of it as a, it's, a, it's sort of a part of a fire station that is very much like uh, a commercial car wash, uh, commercial laundromat and car wash. You kind of come into the laundromat, you get rid of all your dirty clothing, structural firefighting ensemble, and then there's a dirty side to the shower and you go through the shower and come out on the clean side. So the dirty side stays dirty and then the clean side of the fire station uh, stays clean and isolated from all those carcinogenic materials that come out of a modern structure fire. Fire Station 13 will be one of the largest in the city. If this will not be the largest, it will be second. A good portion of the square footage of this building is in the apparatus room. This, this station will have three bays 80 feet long, which allows us to pump, park two pumpers nose to tail and still have plenty of room to walk and work around them. So there'll be one staff apparatus here. There'll be an engine company here uh, with a minimum of three people assigned to it on a 24 hour basis. These bays will also serve as a home to apparatus equipment and provide training space. It may be a mobile air unit. It may be a hazmat truck. It may be uh, a, a, a collapsed structure resource. Uh, and, and this facility will, will give us room to store those apparatus. We have reserve engines and ladder trucks. So, um, you know, just because you have a, an engine staff at a fire station, that does not mean that you don't need capacity for additional pieces of fire apparatus. While Station 13 will help to cover more ground and cover more equipment, they will also bring more smiles and balloons to their new neighbors.